So some of you are going to be dealing with past life love in the month of March. This could happen in the first week or it could happen in the second week. Okay. So we, um, this is a general reading for past life. Love is coming in the month of March. Then we have travel. So some of you could be traveling to see this person and um, obstacles with travel for some of you. There's definitely going to be some obstacles and it has to do with children. Okay. So, so in the general reading, some of you are going to be meeting past life people coming back in your past. Some of you are going to be traveling and some of you are going to be having obstacles traveling and some of you going to be dealing with children. Okay. So we're looking and we're going to be finding out why are these obstacles with who and how do they um, affect you in your life. Okay. Cause this is uh, um, the four weeks of March that is coming up. And this is just a general because I'm going to do each and every sign after this. So what we have in the past life, what's coming up in the past life? We have an end of a, a past love. So I'm going to show you guys what is happening. I remember this is a general reading for a uh, love reading for the month of March, 2019. This is just a general reading for the month of March 2019, okay? Um, for the extended, um, with the other signs, you're gonna be receiving that, okay? So we're first going to be looking at the first week. The first week, some of you could be um, reconnecting with past love. Ex-loves could be coming in, that sort of a thing. Ex-loves coming in, that sort of a situation is going to be happening, and this could be affecting a lot of people. Now, this could be affecting the earth sign people. So we're going to be looking at their situation, what is happening in March in their love life. But it could be happening to the earth sign people. But it could also be, if it's a past love, you're ending this karmatic situation and you're going to be moving on to a better, better, better way of living and a better situation that is happening, okay? Some of you could be having some heartbreaks from this past love. Some of you, a past love could have been in your life. There are some heartbreaks and you're feeling really, really um, sad about this and you're letting go this past love, okay? So this could be happening the first week. This could be happening in the first week. Some of you, it could affect you in the, the other weeks, but definitely, some of you are definitely going to be having situation to deal with past love they could be um, earth sign, but um, definitely you're going to be having um, some heartbreak. You're going to be having some heartbreaks, okay, with past life love. Okay, as we look at traveling, if you are planning to travel to see um, someone, uh, some of you could be um, traveling and meeting a new love in the month of March. You could be traveling and meeting a new love in the month of March. This could be wonderful. Some of you could be traveling to see a new love in the month of March because this is a general reading, okay? So whatever the situation is, whether you're traveling to see the person, the person is traveling to come to you, um, someone could be traveling so that you two could connect, but definitely you're connecting with a, a, a love. You're traveling to see a love, to see someone in um, March. <clears throat> The energy is um, positive because with this travel, what is going to transpire is that some of you could be meeting someone and starting a new relationship. So this could be good. So you could be traveling to meet someone or you could just travel and you met someone on the plane. You met someone in the airport. You met someone, you know, wherever you were going. And this is going to turn out into a positive love relationship. Okay. And that can happen to the air sign people and some of you are going to be receiving an offer of love you could be traveling to the person the person is traveling to see you and they're going to be offering you love and this is going to be good okay positive positive energy then <clears throat> we're going to be having some obstacles with relationship <clears throat> and um whatever the obstacles are in a relationship it could be because you can't travel to see this person because you're having a long distance relationship. But definitely some of you are going to be 
could be having obstacles with your car too. So be aware of this because whenever the obstacle comes up, it can come up with situation where you have to travel or you can't see this person because they're having car problem, you're having car problem. So you're unable to find this person and this is going to be happening. For some of you, <clears throat> sorry, you're um, protecting yourself from something, something. And it could be that some of you are going to be protecting yourself from a Leo if it's not a Leo, you're protecting yourself from someone. Um, there were some obstacles that they have created in your life and you're protecting yourself from the person. Okay. Remember, this is just a general reading, my darlings. So um, don't be aware, don't be afraid. I'm gonna look at your personal signs. Some of you who have kids, um, there could be a situation that is transpiring. Okay, you need to protect your kids. Whoever out there that are having kids, you need to protect your kids, okay? Um, and some of you, be aware, there could be someone who is, uh, um, uh, listen, if you ladies are about to begin a new relationship, be careful of the person you're bringing in your relationship, okay? They could in some way affect your children. Maybe your children don't like them. You need to protect your, your children, okay? Because sometimes women think, yeah, but this man is good and I want to be with this man and that sort of a thing. No, because sometimes there is more beneath the highs, so if you find out that you're starting a new relationship and your kids don't like this person, protect your kids because you're not protecting your kids, okay? Another message that is coming in is that some of you could meet someone, he's a Taurus, Virgo, he's a, he's a Pisces, Cancer, or a Scorpion, and you could be a Taurus, Virgo, and you're meeting this man that is um, a Pisces, Cancer, or a Scorpion. He's 45 years and older. He might have kids. He might have kids, but um, the situation is that he might have kids, but he wants to connect with you and let you and your kids together connect and work together. This could be happening. This could be wonderful for you also. This is very positive. So these situations can happen if you or a Pisces, Cancer, or a Scorpion, you could be meeting a new partner that has kids, okay? This is going to be good. So don't worry about it. It's gonna be very, very positive. But for the rest of it, whoever have kids, you really, really need to protect your kids. Whatever is going on, whatever is happening, you need to protect your kids. It's very important that you protect your kids in a relationship, okay? I'm seeing some of you ladies, you working ladies, you professional ladies out there, and I'm seeing the Capricorns. I'm seeing you really content, and you are going to be meeting your soul mate. So you Capricorn ladies, Capricorn mate ladies, I'm seeing this in the general reading, that some of you professional women are going to be meeting your twin flame or your soulmate, and this is going to be good, okay? This is going to be good. So professional Capricorn women are going to be meeting the twin flame or the soulmate in this month of March, so that is going to be good. All righty, okay. Um, so